Hey, I'm Mark Oldman, Pottery Barn wine expert and author of Oldman's Brave New World of Wine. Here today to talk about sangria. I'm gonna fast track you to sangria bliss. A very simple, easy, fun recipe. It's gonna start with cutting up fruit. There is no magic one technique to how you cut the fruit. Um, I like to cut my fruit, and what fruit are we talking about? We're talking about lemons, limes, oranges. Those seem to be common to most sangria. I like cutting it into wheels uh, because it looks cool in the sangria and it's fun to eat later. And then we can cut some smaller wheels of lime. Strawberries are a common ingredient in sangria. Okay, so we finished cutting our fruit here. And what you wanna do is just put the cut fruit in a pitcher. So we're gonna take our fruit and just kinda dump it in and get the mixture ready. Now is time to muddle, just to get the juices intermixing here and begin the process of creating a nice fruit-filled sangria. So on to the next step, which is actually my favorite step of the sangria creation process, and that is getting wine into the mixture. Uh, we're making the traditional red sangria, so you just need a bottle of red wine. I like to go native. I like to go with a, a nice Spanish red, and here I have a Rioja. So we're just gonna pour a little Rioja into our mix. Next up, this is not mandatory, but a lot of people like to put a shot of their favorite liquor into the sangria mix. I like rum a lot. That's gonna kick things up a little bit. Another nice enhancement to your sangria is sugar, uh, or any sort of sweetener. It could be orange juice, it could be a little bit of honey. I happen to like to make my sangria irresistible, so I'll put in two teaspoons of sugar into the mix. I also like to add a little bubbly water, a little sparkling water to my sangria mix. So we're gonna add two cups of sparkling water. Just adds a little lift, a little interesting effervescence to your sangria. So we're all set. We've got everything in our container now. Only thing left to do, if at all possible, is to let this mixture chill overnight so the fruit gets fully infused with the underlying liquid. Mm, this is going to be an incredibly irresistible sangria. Mission accomplished. Our sangria is done. It's been marinating overnight and it's ready to go. We have red sangria, which is the traditional sangria, and also some white sangria. I used a base of Portuguese white wine, Vinho Verde for that. Always add ice right before you're gonna serve it. And then use big, generous, festive glasses and you'll be all set for sangria fun. For more information, including recipes on the red sangria or the white sangria, of course, go to potterybarn.com. And for more on wine, check out my website, markoldman.com. May your entertaining be totally rewarding. I'm Mark Oldman, drink bravely.